But you point out to think of anybody on the Forbes list, on the wealth, like let's think about real wealth. And they say number one is that the person has a few businesses, mm-hmm. probably private. Yes. Right? Number two yes. is that they're domiciled in strong long term growth industries. Yes. Number three, they understand the business. Yes. And, and usually those businesses are run by mm-hmm. uh, management that they trust. Mm-hmm. And it's also highly concentrated in ownership. So they run like private family run business. They, yes. They're going to feel paid. Right. Uh, number four is that they use other people's money very well. Prudent managers of capital. Am I yes. getting those right? Perfect. And then the most important one, though, that yes. most people forget is that we have to hold it for the long term. Yes. And so you think that we can use that same framework <laughs> in Jamaica. And I think you've proven it when Columbus Communication, I'd love for you to talk about that specific deal that you had done and how that had fit in with your framework. Well, first, uh, Columbus Communication is a perfect example of the three preconditions that we mentioned earlier. Right. Uh, uh, at the time, so we, we owned a company called Cable Bahamas, 35% of Cable Bahamas. And Cable Bahamas provided uh, cable services to the Bahamian people. So being an incumbent operator, an in-market operator, we, uh, we were being charged uh, $48,000 per month for a T1 data line. <laughs> Now, we said, we're, we're from Canada. This thing costs in the hundreds of dollars or less than a thousand, right? 48,000 a month? We said, no, 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 no. We aren't going to pay that. We're going to build an undersea cable from uh, Boca Raton to Freeport. So when we, we made the announcement, uh, K, uh, the incumbent teleco dropped the price from $48,000 per month to $24,000 per month. Wow. When we landed, they dropped the price further from 24 to 16 and 12. We came in at six <laughs> and we grabbed 60% market share. That gave us a taste of the business. We said, wow, this is a great business. You lay the cable, put out major capex, and then the operational expenditure to maintain it, right. not, much, not much, right? But you know, start uh, getting revenues and your margins are, 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 are increase, right? Are increasing. So Jamaica came out with an RFP and, uh, for a second uh, cable outlet from Jamaica, undersea cable from Jamaica. So we made a bid for it. Right. We won it. So we now searched the, 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 the Caribbean to see uh, how, if there are any stranded assets, and we came up, we came across the Arcos network, which Motorola in the late 1990s spent 450 million US dollars laying the, 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 the undersea cable from and it went from Boca Raton to Cancun, Mexico and it hops to every single Central American com- country up the Eastern Caribbean, passes Trinidad, uh, uh, Easter, uh, Barbados, Dominican Republic, uh, back to US Virgin Island, back to Miami. So it was a complete rig. So we bought it for 80 million. They spent 450, we bought it for 80. We uh, rehabilitated it, and that, that became our wholesale uh, uh, teleco business, uh-huh. right? Then we superimposed on top of that uh, a retail business where we started selling, doing the triple play, All right? right? Uh, that this, this was back in 2005, six. In 2013, we sold that business to Cape and Wireless, uh, for three, it was the largest transaction in Latin America in 2013. We sold the cable and wireless for three billion dollars. Wow! So people think the Caribbean doesn't have scalable investment, investment. but that's not true. That's that's one opportunity. Digicel. Digicel is another op- uh, opportunity that was started by Mr. Dennis O'Brien in 2001. Right. Digicel is now worth multi billion. NCB. When I bought NCB, the market cap of NCB was 200 million. Today, today's uh, market cap of NCB is probably about 3.2 billion US. Right. 